Hey there, I'm Luchka, member of Labsure product team. We are making some exciting simulation improvements and I would love to share with you today what some of those improvements are. So for our three simulations, muscle tissue, renal physiology and introduction to immunology, we made quite a few updates. So from improving simulation guidance and instructions, adjusting center points, object placing, highlights, and interactions with 3D models to improving simulation performance so users would get less stuck. In our muscle tissue simulation, we improved the overview of the muscle tissue. So users can now move directly to a small hollow floor with a body and floating screen in one view. We also increased the size of the human model and highlighted different organs to help improve user focus. The user is now able to move directly from that scene to the bench with three screens in one view in order to complete their tasks and activities. Here, the negative feedback is triggered when a form is filled incorrectly or wrong option is selected. We also added new images for each of those muscle cells and label its parts and fix the performance issues associated with that workstation. So now the users can rotate the cells and explore those models in more details. We updated the muscle structure activity as well and upgraded some of the instructions to ensure the hints don't give away the answer to help students encourage critical thinking. Plus, we upgraded some of the images and included labels to make sure the theory material is best utilized for learning. Last but not least, we redesigned the ATP minigame, added extra instructions, highlights, and feedback, so now students can observe the full contraction cycle a few times in a row. Now, let's go through some of the improvements for our next simulation, renal physiology. One of our improvements was to break down the wall of text and allow for more interaction within the scene. We also fixed a few misleading arrows, improved the simulation flow, and allowed the users to focus on a goal rather than randomly hovering over a kidney 3D model parts. We adjusted the viewing angle at the rat dissection experiment to allow for more user-friendly interaction and made sure the screens are all in one view. Throughout the simulation, we improved the instructions, feedback, and hints for better learning experience. The last simulation I'd like to show you today is introduction to immunology. We mostly fixed performance issues in different scenes and improved simulation flow by replacing obsolete models, highlighting all organs of the immune system task and adjusting center points. With that, we made sure the users cannot miss any information they might be later quizzed on. We also added constructive feedback to that interaction with 3D models and emphasized negation in quiz questions to provide a more engaging learning experience. So yeah, that's, that's about it. But hey, there's more to come. So since simulation improvement is a continuous process, we are now already improving other simulations such as bacterial isolation, liquid-liquid extractions, and smooth muscle tissues. And hopefully that would make bacterial streaking or extracting that caffeine from green tea way more fun. So stay tuned. And in the meanwhile, please do reach to our customer support for any questions you may have. We would be more than happy to answer them.